Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series retro vintage Marvel Universe Avengers Loki. This one popped up at GameStop, available online GameStop. It was in stock. Um, I'm sure pre-orders went out, but it was in stock for a short time. Not sure if it still is. Um, but I ordered it and it shipped out pretty quick. It actually came from Reno, which is weird because I thought most of the stuff from GameStop comes from Texas. I know sometimes Kentucky, but Reno was definitely a first. So it got here pretty quick for me. Um, so that was pretty cool. So this is the uh, old school Toy Biz throwback card. Um, so kind of like we saw with Loki, not Loki, this is Loki. Kind of like we saw with uh, Vision and Scarlet Witch. Um, the same style card, but this one kind of goes back to how things were before. So, the, you know, Scarlet Witch and Vision specifically said West Coast Avengers, while every single other figure actually had, like, the name of the character in some kind of logo form. Well, back to that, we have Loki here. So no, like, Thor, like, car title card or anything like that. Um, the little bubble call-out actually says what the, ever the gimmick thing type is, and it says Twin Daggers. So this is kind of going back to form of how it was. So I think Scarlet Witch and Vision are going to kind of be the oddballs out, the anomalies, the exceptions. Um, whereas Loki, again, back to kind of what we're used to. Pretty cool artwork there of uh, Loki. We get two head sculpts, which is really nice. Um, this is not necessarily a new Loki, as we did have a previously released one in, I think it was, an Avengers Endgame. Um, one of the particular waves, I'm trying to think which Build-A-Figure wave it was, it was, it was, it was Hulk. It was the Hulk Build-A-Figure wave for Avengers Endgame. Um, that one came with the sword and just the, the, the head there. So this time we get a new head sculpt. We get the same one, but we get a new one, and then we have some daggers there. So that's actually really cool that we get the daggers. You can see there is, um, some changes to the deco. We get a lighter green, we get more of a yellow color as opposed to a gold color. Um, like here on this figure, like the gold right here with the scaling, um, that's, it, it's actually gold on this one, whereas on the new one, it is a true like yellow color. So that's going to be the big difference there. And then the head sculpt, this figure, one thing that this figure did, and I think it's going to be the very first, and I could be wrong on this. I think it is the very first comic based figure to use the photo real digital print. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe I'm wrong, but that is not something I've ever remember seeing on a comic-based figure. Gamerverse gets it. MCU obviously gets it. This is Gamerverse, so a little bit of a change-up. Maybe that's something that we will see with all Marvel Legends going forward. I don't know. I hope so, because it does look a whole hell of a lot better. Anyway, we'll get to the back of the package as I'm already running long. The same artwork says Loki. It says, Loki envies his brother Thor and plans to take their father's throne for himself. Mwahaha. There is Loki. Let's get him out of the package. Okay, so here is the Loki figure out of the package, and he is definitely a nice upgrade to the previous one that we got. So if you did not get this Loki figure, this one will really fit in nicely into your collection. If you, Again, if you missed out on that one. If you did get this one, this one is essentially the same and would not ne be necessary for your collection. The new head sculpt is awesome, though. <laughs> I will tell you, it is really nice. And then the same old head sculpt is even better on this new one. So if you're looking for an upgrade, this is definitely the way to go. If you're okay with that one, then I think you're gonna be perfectly fine. That one came with the sword. This one comes with daggers, which is nice that we get the twin daggers. These are the Drax MCU daggers. So they're not new, we've seen them before, but if you don't have a Drax figure, which um, I know a lot of people missed out on, because I want to say that figure actually goes for a decent amount, both of them maybe, um, but that's where those daggers came from. So again, not new, but um, definitely a nice upgrade to a previously released figure. So let's get in for a closer look and let's check out those new head sculpts because man, they are really, really nice. Let's check it out. Okay, so here's a real up close look at the Loki figure. And again, they use the photo real digital face print, which really caught me by surprise. Somebody had commented on Instagram, I'm like, Hasbro doesn't do that on comic figures. And then I took a closer look. I'm like, oh, damn. Oh, shit. They really did. And it came out looking really damn nice. This is crazy. You can see it in the eyebrows, the green eyes. You can see some dotting around his eyes to kind of give it some um, shadow type effect. Looks a lot more menacing. Just looks really good. And I think, and then this is going to be, you know, up, up for you know for you guys i think this could kind of fudge in for a disney plus uh old loki old man loki you'd call it 
uh, Classic Loki, I think is what he was officially called in there. That would be actually be a fairly good head sculpt for that because again, we don't usually get photo real digital print on the comic figures, but we got it here. So that's really nice. Uh, looking at the chainmail throughout the figure. Again, it's just done a yellow color with the black scaling as opposed to the previously released gold with the black scaling. Much lighter green, but essentially the exact same. But again, yellow versus more of a goldish color. But yeah, still a floating piece there, as you can see. Now I tried to swap these heads out already and I kind of gave up because it was really hard and I was all scared I was going to break these horns. I will try it again, but it's going to have to be off camera because it's it's really difficult um, to get it on there. But to, to show you guys the head sculpt, I mean, just look at how much more menacing this looks compared to this. This looks like a happy-go-lucky type of Loki, right? Oh, having a good time. Hey, Thor, what's up? How's it going? This one's like, hey, Thor, how's it going? Right? Yeah, it looks... A lot scarier, a lot menace, uh, more menacing, looking at the difference. But, you know, with a sta standard comic figure and how the paint apps kind of work on it, um, you have something like this, where it's very flat, not a whole lot going to it, no shading or anything like that. Um, then you have something like this, which has uh, the regular skin tone, but with some, like, orangish color kind of thrown over it, looking very envious, uh, very menacing, very trickstery. The God of Mischief, Mischievous, just looks really good. But the digital print is just awesome. You kind of get some dotting, whoops, you get some dotting around the lips, especially around the eyes and everything to kind of show some shadowing and some effect. It just, it looks fantastic. This pack, it, it this, this figure, I mean, this head sculpt is fantastic. It's cool that we got this. And I think Dwight had said on a live stream that they sculpted this before, but they couldn't fit it in the budget previously. But now with the re-release, they're able to do that sort of thing. But man, even if it was just this head sculpt alone, it definitely would have been worth picking up because it is just so much better than the previous one and just looks so damn good. It's extremely impressive. Like, look at the difference. And these are the same exact head sculpts. Right? Oh, that's crazy. But I'm gonna go ahead off camera and try and pop this on. We'll see how that looks. Before I go, here's a closer look at the daggers. Again, same MCU Drax daggers, black handle, uh, silver metal, little bit of wash in the blades. And the both of them are the exact same. So there are two and they are the same. So let me pop these heads off. Wish me good luck that I don't break the horns. Hey. Okay, so I got the head sculpt on there, and I must say, it was not easy. It was very scary. You have to, like, really grip the head tightly and watch out for the horns. It, but it was a very tight fit, but I got it on there, and damn, he looks really, really good like that. That is an awesome-looking Loki. Man, I'm kind of torn now. I don't know which one's going to be the better head sculpt. Because I'm like, well, the other one has this head sculpt already, so I'm not going to display it this way. You know, and this one is really good, but damn, this one is actually going to be better, I think. I don't know. I'm probably going to go with the new one, though, even though I do think this one, this one looks better. But you guys let me know down in the comments below. Which one uh, do you like, short horn or long horn? Let me know in the comments below. But let's check out his articulation now. Okay, so Loki's articulation, he can look all the way down to an insane degree. He can also look up, no issue. And both the head sculpts are essentially going to have that same uh, motion because their hair is both, you know, really out of the way, so it's not going to be a problem. Lots of head pivot going on in there. You get a full rotation if you wanted to move it around. Shoulders, my figure is really stiff and it's been cold lately. That could be part of the reason, but arm goes straight out. You get a full rotation in there. Oy. Upper bicep swivel, you get a double jointed elbow, like so, so a little bit more than 90 degree. That's pretty good, actually. Wrist swivel, and they do hinge, standard uh, horizontal hinge. We have an ab crunch, so mine is not going to crunch far very forward. That is it. I'm trying to think, is that how this figure was? Yeah, it was always that way. In fact, it actually seems like maybe a little bit more on the new one compared to the old one. Going back... Only so far, but look at that. You see where the scaling stops. So that kind of sucks. Uh, waist swivel in there. Legs go out that far apart. And again, mine's very stiff. They don't want to freely move so much. But 
that far apart. Can't kick forward very high though, so that is really nice. Doesn't really go back, upper thigh cut in there. You get a double jointed knee, like so. You have a boot swivel or calf swivel, I guess it would be. Foot hinges down all the way. You get a little bit of hinge up. Ankle pivot peck holes at the bottom of the feet. So um, not the greatest, but mine is also really stiff. But as you saw with the ab crunch, it wasn't a whole lot. And see, I have a little bit of gap in his left leg for some reason. Um, so that kind of sucks as well. But there is his articulation. And there are the two Loki figures side by side. Again, different colors, yellow and gold, lighter green. Um, I'm really leaning towards this new one. I thought the old one was going to be a really nice one, but this new one I am really, really liking. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite between the two. As a little bit of a bonus, I got these cool daggers from MFCT News on Instagram, and they have a Facebook account. They get a lot of, because they're based in um, Taiwan, you know, they get a lot of um, a lot of figures early and stuff, so you can kind of get a lot of... Um, early looks at figures but they sent me over uh these daggers which look awesome you, if you guys follow me on instagram you would have seen it but these these uh the handles are gold um and the blade is silver so these are done nicely i believe these are 3d printed um so that actually works out really well with loki and then also included a miss minutes which looks really nice oops miss minutes as you can see here and that's done very cool i like that a lot and then here is the coolest part of it is the alligator Loki so that just looks awesome I mean the paintwork on this thing is incredible as well really nice so you can have your various different Lokis all kind of together so that is pretty awesome so shout out to them MFCT news um, again, you guys, chances are you already follow them on Instagram, but I'll put a link in the video description below as well. But, very cool. Okay, and last side-by-side -side comparisons here, we have the classic 80th anniversary Thor, uh, the new uh, Loki, and the previously released Loki. These two look really good together. Okay, and so one final thing before I finish up the review. The, the old reused head sculpt actually looks like it sits a little bit lower on the neck, which I think... Um, works out a little bit better you know I was looking at this one from the side I'm like damn that thing's kind of wobbly I mean look at that how you could do that whereas this new one you're, you're definitely not getting that same you know gap showing up not that you're really gonna put that move the head in that motion but you could just see that you know it's definitely got a lot of bobblehead action going on on the previous one so uh, this new one not well not, well the face print and everything um, got upgraded, uh, so did the head sculpt on the neck ball peg, so that is really cool. But that is my review of this Loki figure. Um, definitely liking it a lot more than I thought I would because the new head sculpts are just so good. They're done so nicely and I did not expect the photo print. I thought it was just, you know, another Loki figure, whatever, okay. You know, we're getting Falcon. Um, Scarlet Witch, Vision, now Loki, Lady Loki, all because of the Disney Plus shows. You know, it's like, hey, why not release, re-release, you know, a classic version of the figure on the card back. Um, I thought it's just kind of one of those, but uh, huge upgrades and improvements to the figure. You guys let me know down in the comments below if you agree. If it's enough to sway you to pick it up, let me know. Comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.